Today we will be discussing about computer-aided drug design or CADD. Before that we shall first see what a drug is. A drug is a chemical substance, typically of known structure, which when administered to a living organism, produces a biological effect. A pharmaceutical drug, also called a medication or medicine, is a chemical substance used to treat, cure, prevent or diagnose a disease or to promote well-being. Traditionally drugs were obtained through extraction from medicinal plants, but more recently also by organic synthesis. The Drug Discovery Process The drug discovery process involves target discovery, target validation, lead compound identification, lead optimization by computational ADME methods, preclinical drug development, clinical trials phase 1, phase 2 and phase 3, FDA review and approval and finally post-approval research and monitoring. The diagram here explains the major processes associated with drug discovery as well as the different types of drug discovery using computers. Moving on to computer-aided drug design. Over the last decade, computers have been used to aid and accelerate the process of drug discovery, and this process is now referred to as computer-aided drug design or computer-assisted molecular design. A combination of advanced computational techniques, biological science, and chemical synthesis was introduced to facilitate the discovery process, and this combinational approach enhanced the scale of discovery. Today, a number of computational approaches are being used to identify potential lead molecules from huge compound libraries. Types of Computer-Aided Drug Designing The two most popular types of CADD are structure-based drug designing and ligand-based drug designing. Structure-based drug designing. The structure-based drug designing depend on the knowledge of the target protein structure to calculate interaction energies for all tested compounds. Structure-based computer-aided drug design relies on the ability to determine and analyze 3D structures of biologic molecules. The core hypothesis of this approach is that a molecule's ability to interact with a specific protein and shows a desired biologic effect depends on its ability to favorably interact with a particular binding site on that protein. The two commonly used methods in SBDD are homology modeling and molecular docking. Homology modeling Homology modeling is used in determining the structure of a target molecule follows the identification of a specific drug target. Despite the availability of advanced techniques, the structures of a large number of proteins have not been identified. Homology modeling helps in this situation because it can be used to generate the structures of proteins on information available for similar proteins. Molecular docking Molecular docking is a computational process widely used for rapidly predicting the binding modes and affinities of small molecules against their target molecules, usually proteins. This in silico process has achieved a position of great importance in the drug discovery field. List of tools and applications in the SBDD approach The most popular tools for SBDD approach include Swiss model that enable homology modeling used in target modeling. CastP is a common tool used for binding site prediction. Autodoc Vena is used in molecular docking and virtual screening. Another important tool used in SBDD is ADMETSAR for ADMET prediction. Ligand-based drug design. LBDD offers a general approach for elucidating relationships between the structural and physicochemical properties of compounds or ligands and their biological activities. This approach is applied when 3D structural information of a target protein is unavailable. In this process, the available information of ligands and their biological activity is used for the development of new potential drug candidates. It is based on the assumption that compounds with similar structural features share common biological activities and interact or inhibit common target molecules. Commonly used tools in LBDD are quantitative structure activity relationship and pharmacophore modeling. QSAR and its role in drug discovery. QSAR is defined as a process involving the construction of computational or mathematical models using chemometric techniques to identify significant correlations between a series of structures and functions. 
For QSAR, the primary hypothesis is that compounds with similar structural or physiochemical properties show similar activities. Pharmacophore Modeling A pharmacophore is an assembly of steric and electronic features required for optimal supramolecular interaction with a specific biological target structure and to prompt or block its biological response. Ligand-based pharmacophore model generation is based on available information on the biological activities of compounds or ligands. In short, computer-aided drug discovery is basically classified into structure-based drug design and ligand-based drug design. Structure-based drug design is used for binding site identification as well as docking and scoring whereas ligand-based drug design is used in pharmacophore modeling and QSAR. After the virtual screening the lead compound is selected, optimized and a new drug is produced. Different modeling softwares are used in computer-aided drug design. This includes MapCheck, DDD+, Gastroplus, Schrodinger and Autodoc. These softwares are generally used in the calculation, study and estimation of pharmacokinetic parameters, molecular dynamics and ligand interactions etc. These are the examples of some clinically approved drugs discovered by computer-aided drug designing. These include Captopril approved in 1981 used as an antihypertensive, dorzolamide, the carbonic anhydrase inhibitor, indinavir, ritonavir and sequinavir used in the treatment of HIV and triophobin which is a fibrinogen antagonist. Benefits of Computer-Aided Drug Designing Cost savings, many biopharmaceutical companies use computer-aided drug designing in order to reduce cost burden. Traditional experimentation requiring animal and human models are now replaced by computational drug designing, which saves both time and cost. It is hoped that in case of certain diseases like influenza, computational drug designing will play an important role in reducing the chances of drug resistance and thus would lead to production of lead compounds which would target the causative factor. Computational drug designing has also led to construction of high-quality datasets and libraries that can be optimized for high molecular diversity or similarity.